I'm going to show you literally how I create and direct and plan my own photo shoots and I guess, you know, also the approach that I take when I'm doing. What are you about? <laughs> What's your value proposition? <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm very excited to introduce you to, oh my God, hold up, wait, you need to like, subscribe, and comment to this video before we go any further because I'm gonna be dropping some really awesome tips for you guys to creative direct your own photo shoot. I've had a lot of you guys kind of ask me, how do you make the transition from content creator to filmmaker? Right? Even if you're not a content creator yet, you know, even if you're just thinking about starting your own channels right now, a lot of you are considering, okay, well, you know, I know that I love fashion. I know that I love technology. I know that I love world travel, but how do I take my loves and translate them into visual content, right? Very good question. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be answering for you and exemplifying for you today. I'm gonna show you literally how I create a direct and plan my own photo shoots and I guess, you know, also the approach that I take when I'm doing short film. I'm still working on the feature length, guys. If you haven't, you know, seen it or heard about it, then please subscribe to my onlyfans.com slash filmmaker career. That's the best place to see all of my short films, as well as get more updates on my novel, Deep Cup Diamonds, and the feature film, Sex and Success. So, damn, what was I talking about? <laughs> Okay, so how do you create visual imagery that speaks to your theme? Okay, so I'm gonna use this photo shoot and the photo shoot that I'm getting you guys. You're gonna see a lot of behind the scenes footage in today's video. So um, I'm gonna talk to you basically using today's photo shoot as a model for your photo shoot. So um, first of all, you wanna think about what your theme is gonna be. What is it going to be used for? What is it going towards? For this photo shoot, this is something that I'm going to be using for my profile pictures as well as my banners for all of my social media accounts. Now, those are pictures that you guys are probably also going to be taking, every single one of you, even if you never do photography ever again, even if that's not your brand, you're going to need to put something on your profile, right, for all of your handles. So it's really good that you pay attention to everything that I say in this video. Now, I know what my brand is, or I know what I'm trying to sell or what I'm about, right? And it's my writing, it's my directing. Maybe I'll let you guys see me dance a little bit, but it's really about the writing, directing, and also um, kind of fashion and style and just the way that I incorporate typically fetish elements into everyday luxury wear. So I know that that's what I'm about, right? What are you about? <laughs> What's your value proposition is what they say technically is a business term you can go google that right now that's some free game for you guys that i had to spend like a billion thousand dollars for in business school <laughs> so what's your brand what is the most in a sentence what are your fans coming to you for right because that's what you really want to exemplify and the symbols because now we're taking these themes and we're extrapolating okay, out of the theme of world traveler, what are the symbols that visually say to me world traveler? Okay, so my thing is filmmaking. So I basically chose a ton of props that are all surrounding, you know, filmmaking and directing. And you'll see in, you know, just keep watching. <laughs> but I brought a clapper board, I brought a director's hat, I brought all of the elements, and I would have gotten more. I would have gotten the director's chair, I would have gotten the full on 1950s camera with the hand crank, I would have done the whole thing <laughs> had those elements been able to fit into my photo shoot and also, you know, not obscure my face and stuff like that. But 
you might want to think about what are the symbols, what are the physical items that really say what your brand is about. So go back to the world traveler example. If you're creating a travel blog, you definitely want to take photos that exemplify you in beautiful places, right? Because that's what your fans are coming to see. They want to see you in beautiful places. So let them see that number one, first and foremost. If your brand is, let's say, fitness or whatever, and it's a specific type of fitness, let's say that you are a extreme frisbee artist, <laughs> you might want to put, I don't know what a typical, lacrosse, let's go with something different. But maybe you put that little stick thing. I don't know what the names of any of these sports equipments. Oh my God. So <laughs> you might want to put that somewhere in your banner, something that, Someone who loves lacrosse is gonna see it and immediately associate it with everything that you wanna say. Now, here's what I will say about symbols and you know props and stuff like that. Definitely wanna be careful that you're not being too cartoony. So, you know, keep in mind that, okay, let's say that you're a pro golfer, maybe putting on the whole jodfers and the whole alpha and the caddy bag and everything might not be the most flattering way. <laughs> to feature you, even though it is symbolism that we typically associate with golfers. Try and take that symbolism, do a little brainstorm list, that's exactly what I did for this photo shoot today. Do a little brainstorm list of all the things that you can think about that speak to your brand, and then start to pull apart, okay, what do I think would actually look good and flatter me, flatter my physique, flatter my complexion, my hair, whatever, in a photo shoot? Um, and that's gonna be the props, the background, because that's another thing that you can utilize, the setting that you're gonna put into place for your shoots. Okay guys, so now that you've seen a little bit of the photo shoot and you know, got to see some visual elements of all the things that we were talking about in the first part of this video, I would now like to talk about something that's gonna be very important for you, whether you decide to just do content creation, just do social media influencer advertising, or if you're considering building that, upgrading it onto the silver screen. You want to get the most content out of every shoot that you can. This for me is like a golden rule. So think about it. When you set up one of these shoots, I mean, you're putting together so many different resources, time, effort, hairstylist, makeup artist, videographer, cinematographer, gaffer, you know, so many different people that are coming through to this shoot. You definitely want to get the most out of it that you can. Um, and that's true even if you're just doing content creation and it's just you at home, at your studio right now. You still want to get the most out of it because remember, we're talking social media. We're talking something that's happening every single day, every single hour. You wanna have quantity, maybe even before quality, at least when you first get started. So how are you gonna do that? Well, with the opportunities that you have to shoot, like today for instance, you're gonna use it and put together a shooting schedule. So that is literally like a full on agenda for the day and plan out everything that you're able to take considering the characters, the actors, the costumes, right? All the resources that you have available on set that day. Think about everything that you're able to shoot and then plan out your schedule accordingly. So today, for instance, and I'm gonna show you a little bit, you know, examples of some Instagram reels. Oh my God, guys, please go check out my Instagram page. Follow me on Instagram. I have like really, really, really hot photo shoots, video shoots behind the scenes latex try-ons, get ready with me videos. If you like my makeup looks or my curly hair, you can learn all of that on my page, instagram.com slash filmmaker Corinne. All of my handles are filmmaker Corinne, so pretty much follow me everywhere. Um, but you'll see on my Instagram, and you'll see I'm gonna send you some examples today as well of Instagram reels that I've been shooting in the midst of my photo shoot, in the midst of my YouTube video shoot, in the midst of everything. <laughs> And that's the power of putting together a really solid shooting schedule that enables you to take care of all of your content needs for the entire week or perhaps for the entire month. And that's what's gonna make it much more manageable for you when you decide to get into filmmaking yourself or when you start your YouTube channel on your own. 
So I wanted to show you guys a couple of the reels that I shot as well as some of the behind the scenes on how I actually do these photo shoots. Yeah, so stay tuned. <laughs>